Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so nervous. <laughs> But I'm just going to be showing you guys how I did a basic full set. And oh my gosh, y'all, I messed up so much. But they still came out kind of cute. Um, So yeah, I'm going to show y'all how I did this. So first, I'm just pushing her cuticles back. Um, The cuticle pusher I'm using, I got it from Amazon. It came with a pack of three. Like it, it had like the the scraper tools like when you're doing the soak off so you can scrape the acrylic off um yeah i just got them because they were cute so i have a habit of doing like a lot of pushing when I push the cuticles back you don't have to do this much but the reason I do it is because I feel like sometimes it'd be like a lot of dead skin on the nail bed up close by the cuticle so that's why I scrape so much and then I just file the rest of it off when I um use the sanding band to like buff the nails So now I'm just using um, a sanding band to get um, that natural shine off of her nails. Um, and I'm kind of OD with this. Like like I said, I use the sanding band to get like that extra, you know, dead skin from around the cuticles. Um, this is personally what I, you know, spend the most of my time for when I'm prepping um, I feel like this is what makes my nails last the longest. No, I'm not pushing down hard. No, I'm not, you know, filing so much on her natural nail. It's just that I'm taking my time to make sure that I'm getting everything off. Um, because if you don't, if you leave some of that dead skin on her natural nail, um, you're you're more likely to get lifting. I typically don't have lifting. Um, yeah, some of my clients are kind of ghetto, you know, so they be fighting. And of course... They nails come off but other than that like my clients very rarely break nails and i feel like this is why Um, and then right now I'm just gluing her tips on. Um, the glue I use is KDS. I feel like everybody uses that glue. But, um, yeah, and I get it off Amazon. They have, like, it's really, really cheap. Like, I, I think I got, like, a, a pack of 40 for, like, $7 or something. And then the nail tips that I use are um, the D&D &D nail tips. And I get those from my local nail supply store. And now for shaping, I use a 8080 grit file. Um, it's kind of sharp. I meant to get a 100-100, but I really feel like um, I would continue to get an 8080 just because um, filing, like, it took me no time to file. Like, it was just, it was going pretty quick. But um, let's talk about the shape a little bit, okay? Because I don't need nobody coming for me. I hated the shape. Um, not because of anything I personally did. I just don't like coffin on nails this short. I feel like coffin, you know, I like typically I'll only do coffin if the nails are like longer than this. 
but she, she she like really insisted that you know she wanted coffin so I was like okay you know we could do it and you know it's just not gonna be all that cute but yeah I typically would have done square on this length but like I said that's what she wanted And once I get into the application, you guys will see what I'm talking about when I say I messed up. Um, it's not really that I messed up. It's just that for whatever reason, like, the acrylic just kept drying so fast. Like, I don't know if it was because of the temperature um, in the room that I was doing nails. I don't know, like, what it was, but, like my beads just kept drying so quick and usually you know with not polish they just kind of flow down the nail um and that was not happening whatsoever and like I've still to this day I've never had that issue again it was literally just this set where it was like you know once you know I'm trying to move the bead down the nail and then it just stops and I'm like what but yeah you guys will see when I start the application So, um, I did not record the, um, part where I was putting on the dehydrator and the primer, but, um, I, I just make sure that I get it on the whole part of the nail. I know some people just slap it on and keep it moving. No, I make sure it's all around the cuticle and in the center of the nail wood, but let's get into this application, sis, so y'all can see how I messed up, um, I don't really have like a set way of how I apply acrylic. Sometimes I do two beads, sometimes three, four, five, six, whatever I need to make sure the acrylic gets on the nail. Um, and I don't really, I don't know, like my, my application is hardly ever, I wouldn't say never, but hardly ever perfect. Um... Like, there's times where, you know, I do nails, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, it looks like I done filed the nails and everything. Um, but I'm just going to let you guys know that was not one of this, them times. This video was not one of them times. Um, your girl was, like, messing up, but it's okay. Um, but, yeah. I just, I try to make sure that I don't make them too, you know, thin, if I make them too thick, cool, you know, I can always go back and um, file the excess off. But if you make them too thin, it's like, uh, now I got to go back in and, you know, go, you know, add some clear to all the nails. Because I wouldn't dare pull out the color again. Once that color's put up, it's put up, sis. But yeah.
Another thing, when it comes to application, make sure you don't get any acrylic on the cuticle. I would, um, you know, place that bead kind of far away from, you know, the cuticle and then try to, you know, push it up a little bit um, as opposed to, you know, just letting the bead flood the cuticle that's not it the nails gonna pop right off but this nail you'll see um how i had to like go back in because like as you can see like that bead is not moving like at all she's already stiff and i just popped her on the nail it, but you can also see how wet my brush is like you can see it because it's it's getting her um her um her nail bed wet because you know my brush is so wet so it's not like I wasn't, you know, making them um, wet enough. Like, it wasn't me, sis. That application for that nail wasn't that bad. It was actually kind of cute. But the acrylic I'm using in this video is not polished. Um, the color is M58. The name is Tropical. Like not Tropical, but Tropical. C-O-O-L. And let me just say sorry for, you know, the angle and everything. And I keep, like, getting out of frame. But it wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I honestly, for me, like, I, I did a way better job at recording this than I thought I was going to. Just my opinion. Um, And my nails. My nails look so ugly. Oh, my God. <laughs> It looks so ugly, but yes, and boom, right here, you'll see she had to add some more acrylic because, of course, the bead wanted to dry up, but yeah, um, 
you just see like like when stuff like that happens you just fix it the best you can and keep it moving don't spend too much time you know overthinking like this is like if this would have happened to me like when i first started doing nails i would have sat there oh my gosh and tried to figure everything out no i'm not trying to figure nothing out i'm trying to slap that stuff on there keep it moving we can we can think about it later but yeah because i mean everybody messes up you could sis just keep going So now reshaping, like I said, I wasn't crazy about the shaping just because I feel like for coffin, um, they should have been longer, you know, but like I said, that's what she wanted. So reshaping for coffin, of course, file your free edge. Th this part, let me tell you, this part was so hard to do with my phone sitting like right above her hand because um <laughs> I kept it in the camera um but yeah like I said it's okay we not perfect we is not perfect okay But yeah, it's pretty cool that you guys get to see like, you know, how it came together with all, you know, the little mistakes and everything like, you know, you make a mistake, just keep going. Like, it's not that serious. Nine times out of 10, you make a mistake, you're able to fix it with a, a hand file or your e-file, whatever the case. Um, but yeah, it's not that serious. And then, like, reshaping, just make sure you don't do too much. Um, you you file too much on one side, and it's over with. Like, it's over with. Ain't no fixing that. <laughs> I just said you could pretty much fix anything, but ain't no fixing that. Like, if you file too much, you're done. Like, go ahead, take that nail off. Don't be lazy. And I um I always use my hand file before I go in with my e-file just because, I don't know, like when I use my e-file, like I, I pretty much like for the nail to be like 90% done. Like in that way I can just go in around the cuticle and I pretty much just use my e-file to, um, to get the scratches from the hand file off because it leaves like a lot of scratches but once I file around the cuticle really good and then you know file them scratches off boom I'm done um so yeah that's why I like to use my hand file because I don't know it's just easier for me and I mean it's quicker in my opinion, too, because the e-file, that's another thing that you could mess up with. Because if you file too much with that e-file, you're, you're creating 
you know, lumps and stuff in the nail. And then you got to go back in and try to fix that. Like, I personally, I'm just not a pro at using my e-file for that. But you see how, boom, like, I just, you see how quick that freaking lump just came out of that nail? Like, come on now. Be for real. Like, use your hand file. And if you don't have an e-file, um, yeah, because I done been there. Like, I done had my hand file give out on me when I had a little cheap one. It's okay. Like, don't be scared. You're not you're not going to cut nobody. Just use that hand file and, you know, do it really slow and try to, you know, get around the cuticle as much as you can until you can get an e-file. But get you an e-file, sis, period. And please don't come for me because I don't have all that fancy music and stuff. Okay, sis? Like, this is video number one. I don't know how to do all that. <laughs> but what really pushed me um, to record and, like, well, I recorded this video, like, months ago. But what really pushed me to post it is so many people DM me. It's mainly my Facebook and Instagram. I haven't gotten any DMs, like, on Snapchat about it. But... Facebook and Instagram, people are always DMing me. Like, every time I post a picture of my work, they're always like, do you teach? Can I, you know, I'll pay you whatever. And it's even people in Atlanta, not even just, like, in my city. So, I figured, why not, you know, just post, start posting videos on YouTube. And then when people ask me, I can just direct them to these videos. But I will be doing one-on-ones in 2021. 2020, not going to happen. It's already, what, December 6th? Like, no. But in 2021, I will definitely be doing classes, like, group classes that'll be a little cheaper. And then, like, one-on-ones probably be a little bit more expensive. But, yeah, because, like, people really, like, in the all little, like, checkup. Like, every couple months, it's like, hey, so what's up with the classes? Like, 2021. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> but yeah classes coming in 2021 I promise like it'll probably like be summer 2k21 just because obviously I want to per perfect my craft a little bit more and I definitely the kits and stuff that I'm going to be providing for the classes are not going to be cheap um it'll probably be like a starter kit you know, for somebody who hasn't done nails at all. And then, like, a more advanced kit for people who, you know, already have some stuff at home. But, yeah, like, the kits that I want to put together, they're not going to be cheap at all. So, that's going to take me time to put those kits together. Um, And I want them to already be, you know, put together. And I want to start selling products in 2021. There's, there's just so much stuff that I want to do next year so everybody stay tuned but until then i need everybody to support this youtube period like i need my city to look out for me okay because if you know me you know i'm goofy i'm hella animated but i am so shy when it comes to like youtube and stuff like what no i'm so shy so i need everybody to support and then okay so now i'm doing the e-file um, and the e-file that I'm using is a Mel Melody Susie. Um, it's the Scarlet. I love this e-file. Like, it's what's up. But the drill bit that I'm using is off of Amazon. And I, I think it's like a three. No, I think it's a two times course. I don't know. It's it's really, it's super coarse though. 
Um, I think it's a 2X. Yeah, and it's a safety bit, so um, you can't cut anybody because it's really sharp. But yeah, I'm just using, like I'm trying to get as close to the cuticle as possible and I'm really like taking my time. Like this video is like sped up and you can still see like I'm really taking my time to get around the cuticle. And like I said, I'm filing them scratches from my hand file off. And I I take my e-file and kind of just rub it across the skin really quick. Like nothing too harsh or anything on the skin. I just take it and rub it across the skin um, just to kind of clean it up, get all that stuff off the skin. But you don't have to. That's just what I do. Because um, like I said, once you once you're done with the whole process and you um, they wash their hands really good and you apply that cuticle oil you can rub that stuff right off i just have a habit of using my e-file um and just rubbing it across the nail yeah and it gets it right off And it took me like, it took me like an hour and a half to do these nails. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it used to take me like four or five hours to do a full set. So the best advice I could give you to, you know, help with your speed and stuff is just practice and start, um, start, you know, cutting down on certain things like I used to take forever to file um like to shape and now I don't really spend too much time to be honest on shaping um just because you know you shape and then you apply the acrylic you're gonna have to shape again so I don't take too much time on the first time that I shape the nails before I apply the acrylic I, that's kind of like a rough draft for me um and then I perfect it once the acrylic is on there so just like little stuff like that to you know start cutting down on your time um yeah because like i said it used to take me forever to do a full set okay and so she washed her hands and everything and now we about to apply the top coat oh my gosh her tattoo is so cute by the way but this is like the most satisfying part for me you know when they go from crusty to shiny it'd be so cute oh my gosh and the top coat that i use is ibd i've been using it since since I started, this is the only top coat that I've ever used. Um, I don't know. I really want to try Madam Glam, though. Everybody's always talking about that. But, yeah, I don't know. Maybe when I'm out of IBD, I'll try the Madam Glam. But, oh, my gosh, like, this set was just, I don't know. It's simple, but it's the color for me. Like, the color is just, oh, my gosh, it was just so cute. My hand is like all in the way, y'all. I'm so sorry.
and yeah the cuticle oil i'm not sure it's it's the kind with the flowers in it i just dumped it out of that bottle and put it in the little different one so that i didn't have to use the brush but period sis can we do a little quick cuticle check them cuticles are clean okay like i said i wasn't crazy about this set i would have been head over heels about this set if they were square i just hate the fact that they were coughing but she was happy so that's all that matters um and what they be saying y'all they be like <laughs> like comment and subscribe and come back y'all i'll see y'all in my next video thank you guys for watching and supporting and follow my instagram nailed by brit j okay period